ಸ್ವಾಮಿಯೇನಾ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟಂ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾ ಮಹಿಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿಕ ವಂದೇ ಅಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ್ಚ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರ ಜಾತಂ ಸಹಗನ ರಘುನಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸ ಜೀವಂ ಸಾದ್ವೈತ ಸಾವದೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವಂ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದನ್ ಸಹಗಲ ಸಹಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನ ಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೆ ಮಂಚಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧೂಭ್ಯ ಎಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವ ಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ್ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೀ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಸಿ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಶಾನಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಯಥಾರ್ಥ ಗುಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ರೇರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ okay so i want everybody to give me 100% attention okay 100% don't get distracted don't you know think about anything else don't eat don't drink take a break from everything that you are doing and let's get absorbed into the past times of draupadi or story of draupadi okay so now like i said that last week we learned about kunti maharani okay so kunti maharani is mother in law of draupadi or you can say pandavas uh, mother of pandavas okay so today we will learn about draupadi she is also a very 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 exemplary woman a very beautiful in her heart and outside she was very beautiful she had many beautiful qualities such as service attitude forgiveness okay mercy and so many other good things so what happened is draupadi is daughter of king drupad and they belong to panchal province like you know we all here belong to like indians we are all indians living in usa right so similarly draupadi was from the place known as panchal okay and the complexion of draupadi was like new rain cloud cloud <clears throat> so she was almost like you know same color as krishna because of that reason she was also called as krishna we should always remember the another name of draupadi is also known as krishna okay and she was married to all the five pandavas now there is a story behind it now um, the slide got uh, mixed up okay so what happened is draupadi was not born normally like how we all are born from the tummy of our mothers am i right are we born out of the tummy of our mothers everybody yes or no right we were all you know yeah we were all in our mother's womb as a, <laughs> as a little yes. seed okay and then we grew up over 9 months 8 months and that's how we were born but draupadi was not born like that so what happened is uh, draupadi's father had some you know issues or some fight you know with his uh, schoolmate known as dronacharya okay so that there was some issue i will not get into the detail so father of dropadi and his friend dronacharya uh, so basically drupad and dronacharya they had some fight going on okay. and because of that drupad maharaj he wanted to do a big sacrifice uh, so that he can have a son who can kill dronacharya 
and then uh, nobody was coming forward because who will do a sacrifice to have a son who can kill a brahmana right it is not a right thing but finally they found a person who will do a fire, fire sacrifice to have a son born so that he can kill dronacharya so that time after the fire sacrifice was done drishtadyumna was born the brother of draupadi and immediately after the drishtadyumna was born draupadi also came from the fire see here we can see in the picture she emerged out of the fire let me present this you know it's not looking good like that uh, here okay so here we can see that draupadi came out of fire and as soon as she was born you know what happened there was a voice from the sky the voice said that she will cause the annihilation of many kshatriya kings she will be the cause of dying or the death of many kshatriya kings who are not so good okay and uh, that time uh, you know king drupad he named them drishtadyumna and draupadi because she was daughter of drupad she was known as draupadi okay so like that we see that how draupadi was born she had a glorious birth extraordinary birth she was not born like you know all of us normally okay and then after that what happened she grew up to be a very beautiful woman she was so pretty it is said that you know her body would give scent of a lotus flower for you know so many kilometers for so many miles you know wherever she went she would spread the spell of lotus her hands and legs were as beautiful as lotus stem you know very slender very beautiful very shiny like that so what happened when draupadi became of marriageable age uh, like you know in earlier times they would get married early so when she became like you know maybe in her uh, late teens she was about to get married so king drupad like her father you know he arranged a big uh, swayamvar swayamvar means where she could uh, her father will invite all the good kings whoever he is feeling are good to get married to draupadi he will invite all the kings and after all the kings come it is draupadi who will decide who will she get married to and they put a you know contest that whoever is able to uh you know with his bow and arrow whoever whoever king is able to pierce the eye of you know fish will will be able to get married to draupadi many kings came you know many kings wanted to get married to draupadi karna came so many other kings came but nobody could get married but uh, arjuna came and uh, arjuna you know easily was able to bow the string and make his aim and pierce the fish target okay so that way upon seeing this everybody got happy there was a big uproar after that a fight also happened because other kings were thinking oh my god who is this person and he looks like a brahmana so that time you know they were living in um, uh you know like hiding they were hiding in the forest that time because you know all their cousins uh pandavas cousins they were not very good to pandavas so they were hiding and living in the forest they were living as brahmanas see you can see they are wearing dhoti kurta and you know they are tying their hair up like that so uh they were thinking oh you know who is this uh, person who got married to draupadi so there was a big fight and after that fight of course they only won and they took draupadi with them to their house so now the father of draupadi was also thinking who is this person was who was able to win draupadi's hand and then he sent his brother draupadi's brother to go and check just go you know follow them and see you know who got uh, you know won the hand of draupadi and after he went there he saw that actually they were pandavas they were not uh, what 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 you say like normal king or anybody they were pandavas they were you know very good devotees and nice kshatriyas so that with uh, again drupad maharaj was very happy because he anyways wanted you know somebody who can be against uh, dronacharya and other people like that right so what happened is uh, you know every day these uh, five pandavas would go out because you know they were living as brahmanas and uh, brahmanas they always go around asking for food right we have read it in books we have learned from our devotees mahabharat and other books right that ramayan also they say that devotees like you know these brahmanas they go around 
asking for food madhukari they do madhukari so they you know used to go out for asking food and everything and then everybody every day they used to bring food back to home and then uh, kunti maharani would divide it amongst everybody she would cook and do whatever and give it to everybody so uh, when they got home uh, they said oh mother look what we have got and kunti maharani she did not even look behind she thought maybe you know they got some bananas or fruits or some you know apples like that and she said okay divide it amongst yourself and then you know kunti was also very little you know uh, uh overwhelmed that how are, how are, how are they going to divide me amongst five husbands or five people and that time you know uh, uh kunti maharani was also upset but you know if they did not follow that then kunti maharani being such a great devotee her words will become false okay if what see whatever devotees say are always truth and it should happen if whatever they say it should happen so if they did not accept all if they all did not accept draupadi as wife then kunti maharani's words would fail and that can never happen so that time what happened vyasadev came there okay and uh, vyasadev is uh, basically uh father of pandu so basically he's vyasdev is grandfather to all of them and uh, he came and he said that see it is not your mistake he told pandavas he told draupadi also that it is not your mistake also and he told kunti also that it is not your mistake but what happened is long before you know draupadi was born as draupadi she was uh, you know some uh, other girl she was you know born as some other girl and she was a daughter of a sage okay and she was devotee of lord shiva but somehow you know she could not get married so she kept worshiping lord shiva and then when lord shiva came, came in front of her she, out of you know confusion remember you know when we are like after some celebrity like you all all like harry potter do you all like harry potter no or what characters do you like any movie characters or anything somebody you might you might be liking somebody right yeah so if imagine uh, the person whom you think about so much a big celebrity or anything comes in front of you Rem- imagine how you know overwhelmed and confused you'll get so as soon as lord shiva came in front of uh, drop like draupadi like in his in her past life not in this life before draupadi she was some other girl okay so that time uh, lord shiva came and draupadi you know was actually praying for husband because she could not get married so as soon as she lord uh, saw lord shiva she was like patim dehi patim dehi patim dehi patim dehi like you know five times she said that i want husband i want husband so now lord shiva's word also cannot go in vain because he said tathastu tathastu like you know may you get husband 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 like that so it was because of that vyasdev said that it is not your any of your mistake it was draupadi's words that she wanted five husbands and lord shiva gave the blessings because of which the nature and krishna has arranged all the five pandavas to get married to draupadi so that way draupadi got married to pandavas and then she started living with them okay and uh, she had five sons and then later on we know right what happened they all went back to uh kingdom right and they were about to become king but uh, uh duryodhan could somehow never never accept that uh you know one any of the pandavas will become king so he somehow you know he did some foul play foul play means you know he tried to cheat them he tried call them for game of dice match right and then what happened uh pandavas they lost everything see we here we see here 1 2 3 4 5 five pandavas are sitting and they lost the game like you all guys play roblox or some other games now you do you all play roblox or any other game right i see some happy faces nia saying yes i play <laughs> roblox okay so you know like sometimes you know right in game we win or sometimes we lose so similarly what happened uh pandavas they lost the game of dice and they had to give up everything they had to give up their sea crowns and jewelry and everything and they also had to uh give up draupadi because they after the, you know they had nothing left they asked whom will you you know put on uh you know in the game 
and then uh, yudhishthir maharaj said okay you know now we have only draupadi left and they put draupadi in the game i mean they just said okay you know if we lose then we'll give you draupadi so they lost that game also and then see uh, you know dushasan and uh, duryodhan they were all trying to insult her you know by pulling her hair tearing her clothes hitting her making her cry saying mean words you know bullies they were just trying to you know bully draupadi and make her cry and then what happened uh, she draupadi tried to save herself by you know holding on to her sari holding on to her hair and running to her husband telling please save me but see nobody is coming forward to help her and uh, dhritarashtra was king that time to him also she went bhishma dev bhishma pitama was there see here she tried to ask everybody to help that please help me but nobody could help nobody came forward to help her and then in the end she started crying govinda and at that time krishna you know just came and in invisible way he supplied so much clothes you know in like you know extension of sari you know like the entire assembly hall was filled with sari and they could not remove the sari of draupadi so this way we see that she had complete faith in krishna so many times you know uh, draupadi was saved by krishna and here also we see that you know he saved draupadi because draupadi had faith she was devotee of krishna no matter what happened she knew that okay if nobody is able to help me it is krishna only that can help me so we should also learn this from draupadi that you know sometimes in our life situation might come that we are you know stuck somewhere uh, we are uh, you know in some problem nobody is helping us that there is no way out so we should always remember that there is one person who can get us out of all the trouble is lord shri krishna and he will definitely take care of his devotees that is the promise he says in bhagavad gita right uh, ma suchaha don't be scared just surrender unto me so we should all think about krishna all the time okay let's see and then next uh, here we see that okay after that you know they were sent in exile because they lost everything and then you know uh, vidura came vidura was like one of the brothers of uh, pandu pandu king pandu and drish uh, drish what is his name drishta drishtashtra drishtashtra sorry yes so you know he he went and he said to king that although you are blind but you should understand something this is a very big offense that has happened if you don't go and console draupadi now the sudarshan chakra of lord krishna will come and kill all your sons and it will be a big disaster so you have to somehow pacify draupadi and then she uh, you know uh, dhritarashtra asked draupadi that you can ask for any two uh, three boons so she asked for two boons that first boon is to release uh, yudhishthir maharaj from slavery because remember they lost everything so when you lose something you become slave to the other king so that was the rule you know in earlier times so they asked that okay you know they have become slaves but draupadi said that please can you release yudhishthir maharaj from the slavery and give back all the honor and everything all the jewelry and everything that he has lost and then uh, second boon she asked that her other husbands like uh, bhima arjuna nakula sahadev they also be released from the slavery and they should be given all the honor back okay and then she did not ask for three boons because being a kshatriya she said i lord only ask for two boons and then that that way you know uh, they got a Uh, you know boon that they will even though they lost all the you know things and they became slaves still they will not be called slaves so at least you know dhritarashtra did something good over there and then after that what happened is um yeah we see that they were in forest you know there they were worshiping uh, like we know that um, you know they they were not wearing any nice clothes they would just ask for food here and there and some house they were passing their days and then after that we know that you know they stayed in king in the kingdom of uh, virat king virat for few days and then some house you know they came back to um, hastinapur okay and then we see that you know even though draupadi is uh, like 
you know looks like that she is a devotee but even the wife of lord krishna satyabhama she is you know asking uh, you know draupadi that how to be a good wife you have five husbands still you are taking care of them so nicely can you give me instruction how should i take care of you know my husbands so that time draupadi instructs satyabhama that she should be you know very uh, like uh, submissive and service attitude is the only way by which you can please everybody we should not expect any service from others okay we should not think that oh my siblings will you know serve me they will clean my room my mom will cook for me of course you all are little now so it's okay if mom cooks but you should not expect everything from mom you should have you know equal responsibility you should always have that feeling in your heart that no let me her serve others let me help my dad let me help my mother i'll help my sibling clean the room fold his laundry you know i will maybe you know i'll comb my little sister's hair today or i even i'll help my older sister by cleaning her room or you know uh, making something nice thing for her like a little greeting card or something help your friends also don't be mean to them okay and teachers also when you go back to school this year you can ask teacher how can i help you so you should have service attitude and that is how draupadi was such a favorite to all her husband all her family members because she always used to serve first one to wake up in the morning last one to sleep in the night first one you know to like serve everybody last one to get served she would eat very less and eat only you know like what others are eating like that so she told her that this is how you should um love your family you should always keep your secrets of the family in the family we should not give the secrets out so these are the few things that we learn from the character of draupadi and then later on what happened we know that uh, ashwatthama had uh, killed uh, you know five sons of draupadi and then um, during the war of mahabharat and that time uh, they were very very upset uh, because you know like they were all little little kids and uh, ashwatthama you know was on the side of kauravas and he killed all those five small kids and then what happened uh, arjuna said that okay you know i will get her here you you know we will behead him in front of you and then you can be relieved and then you can take uh, your revenge but such a soft hearted lady uh, draupadi was that even though ashwatthama killed her five sons when he was about to be killed here we see that he was about to be killed and then she stops her husband see lord krishna is also there everybody is there but she stops the you know a killing of ashwatthama she says that's fine you know if he kills our son that doesn't mean that we will kill him because he was ashwatthama was also the son of their teacher okay so that that's how she is we see that she is very merciful she does not believe in revenge even though her sons were killed she did not believe in revenge even though she had a chance she did not do so so yeah so these are the few things that uh, you know we learn from the character of draupadi that she is very um, beautiful person in her nature not only you know outer appearance but she is very beautiful she is not a normal human being she is born out of fire sacrifice she is married to like the most powerful pandavas right and then um, that how you know she took shelter of lord shri krishna and she was saved from the most embarrassing moment in the court full of so many people and then we see that even though when she was living in jungle in forest with her husband see she is having such a sweet smile on her face she never you know fret and frown she never complained that oh you know see uh, otherwise she belonged to a very rich family her, her father uh, uh, drupad maharaj he was a very rich king but still she never complained that oh see where i have got married and uh, uh see you know i'm living with you in a forest you all did not save me you know she did not complain she kept on doing her duty and then later on we see that she was such a glorious woman that even lord krishna lord's wife will come and ask instructions from her okay and then we see that ultimately when her son was sons were killed she forgave the person who had killed her sons so we might not be able to put everything in our life okay in into practice but we can at least start with service attitude so from today onwards we should all take a promise that we are going to serve our family members 
more and more and more every day. Okay. So with this, we will stop learning about Draupadi. Now I want to know if anybody has any questions on Draupadi. Any thoughts, any questions? Raise I your hand. Okay, go ahead. Please tell your name and say your um, question. My name is Shrutika. Huh? Shrutika? And my question, I don't have a question. Um, like when she, but when she, like when Krishna saved her, like when Krishna saved her, um, when you were talking about Krishna, I wanted, um, I did not, I did not know, I did not, um, I, I did not, like, I did not. Okay. So you are confused as to why that happened? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everybody were confused. It is said that, you know, everybody were amazed at how the, how did so much sari came. But they all understood, you know, that uh, definitely some magic has happened. Because otherwise, you know, if you pull, you know, something, you know, if somebody is wearing some sari or dupatta, we see that it is limited, you know, like two meters or four meters like that. But her sari was just not ending. Okay. So everybody were definitely amazed that, you know, some, uh, you know, magic has happened here. So that's how Vidura said to Dhritarashtra that he should apologize to Draupadi. Okay. Very nice. Yes, Daksha, you have any question, Beta? So, um, so who, who told all of these, who told all of these facts about, um, Draupadi. Okay. So we have, uh, you know, taken these facts from the book known as Mahabharat. Okay. And it is written by Vyasadev. Vyasadev is author of all the Vedic literature that we have. And he's Krishna himself. Krishna himself, Bhagwan himself has taken the incarnation of Vyasadev for us and he has compiled all the Vedas and he has written Mahabharat, Ramayana and everything. So, so that is how we know the facts. All of these? Yeah, he has written all of these. Okay. Thank you. Very beautiful question, Daksha. Yes, Kavita. Better you're on mute. Yeah, tell me. Why? Go ahead. Oh, I, I have a question. Why is a picture there putting that poem in it? Ryan, I'll get back to you. Yes, Kavita, tell me. It's okay, yeah. mom, you can say the question. Yeah. Yeah, you showed one picture, right? In that picture, uh, one small boy is, uh, is pulling up by someone else. He is asking why that boy, why they are pulling that boy away from her mother. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? Um, Honestly, you know, the slides are being made by my daughter. So I don't know why did she put this slide here. I'll have to ask her what she was thinking. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Yeah. I was also thinking, even I have that question, Daksha. So I'll ask my daughter. No, not Daksha. Who was that who asked the question? Adya. 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 Okay. Okay. Very nice. But thank you so much. She's observing. Yeah. Yes. Anybody else? Yes, yeah. Ryan. So, so. When I, when I, I, I have a Krishna in my back. Wonderful. Ryan is a big devotee of Krishna. Very nice. You so we should all I, put. Hmm. In, in my body, I have this thing. No one told me to put this thing. I told to my dad to put this wow. thing. Wow. Because That's I nice. love Krishna. Krishna is my favorite God. Wow. And you are Krishna's favorite devotee. See, I also have Krishna behind me. You all see on the fireplace. Yeah. Okay, so we all should have pictures of Krishna around the house because, you know, it keeps reminding us about Krishna. Okay, so we should all do that. Okay. My baby brother is dressed up like Krishna and huh? I have a photo of him. Oh, you My do? baby brother is dressed up as Krishna and he, I have a photo of him. He, yeah. Um, he got um, his photo, Um, his picture was in, in his birthday party hmm. on the design. Oh, 
yes you know our all our indian families you know they like to dress up little boys and girls as krishna and take pictures like you know like how in usa they have this halloween culture in our india they used to you know dress up kids as uh, lord yeah, rama krishna we should do that yeah, you know, can is... do judges to krishna very quick i'll come back in a minute okay 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 so thank you all very much uh yes satvik i'll take last question yes satvik when i was a baby i also dressed up like krishna you also wow wonderful that's nice yeah that's nice like krishna too yeah mm yeah, yeah. i dress so like krishna every day when i was small Okay, sometimes yeah. I just saw like with Spiderman. Sometimes I just saw like Krishna. Mm. Very nice. Sometimes with Spiderman. Sometimes I do Jaja to Krishna. That's all. Okay. But most I do Jaja to Krishna first, and okay. then. Beautiful. Thank you all very much. So uh, maybe last question from Daksha. Daksha, you want to ask something quickly? Yes. Brother's <laughs> name is. You who? my brother's name is krishna. beautiful very nice krishna means all attractive thank you all so our uh, you know story time is done today we have learnt about uh, draupadi today everybody try to remember that how we have to serve others following in the footsteps of draupadi okay and now we are going to have our art class is everybody ready with their art material is oh, everybody yes. ready yes okay yes, okay. yes me Okay, if don't unmute. If you are ready, just you know, show it to me, show it to me in your screen. I'll see that and I'll know. So today we are going to draw a very beautiful honey bee, and the class will be led by uh, Sachi. Sachi Mata Ji, are you there? Yes. Can you raise your hand so that I can see you? Oh yeah, there you are. Okay, so you are spotlighted. Okay, so you can. Um, take over the class and uh, i hope that all kids have fun drawing beautiful bumblebee okay thank you all so much hare krishna mm -hmm. hey krishna everyone hi kids how is everyone doing today hare krishna good i'm good 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 good, good. What Good. did you guys learn in the story today that Matichi told you guys? Did we learn anything from the story? Okay. Does everyone have their books and pencils and colored pencils ready? And then we can get started. I'll give you guys a second. Can I tell you something? Uh huh. Um. Can I'm. Can, um. Can I leave and go join back because um because the bag is done on this phone. I'm gonna join on my tablet. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Okay, so everyone has their books and pencils ready. So we will need like a few colored pencils and also like any normal pencil. You can use like this one or even something like this works. And then if you need to, you can have like an eraser with you. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be doing today. Does everyone see it? Okay, I see Daksha's thumbs up. Okay. Is everyone ready? Can we get started? Yeah, okay. So, now we see here that we have a bumblebee. Um, for whoever left, are you back? And maybe we can. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's just start. If she needs to catch up, we can also do that. Okay, everyone ready? Let's start. 
So first we see here that this bumblebee is like very round here, right? So we're gonna draw like circles. Everyone knows how to draw a circle? All right, so you wanna hold your pencil really lightly and then it's sort of like a half circle almost. So you wanna go I, from- I oh. can't see it. Oh, okay. Can you see that better? Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, so you wanna hold your pencil super lightly and then find a good spot to make your drawing. Always do this when you're drawing, right? So I go usually from like somewhere in the middle and I'm finding it right here to do the head of the bee. So I'm going to make like a half circle almost, but not make like a full cir circle here. I'm just going to bring that down. Not make that too big. See, when you do it lightly, you can always erase. So just hold your pencil super lightly. What are we doing? We're drawing a B. Do you see this? Okay. All right. Yeah. If you want me to go slower, you can. Okay. Yes. Can you go slower? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you. Oh, what are we doing first? Um, so first you wanna try and find like a good a spot. All right. So first you wanna try to find like a good spot to draw your head for the bee, right? So I usually go from the middle and then down, and there's the head. Right? So it's like not in the middle completely, but it's like sort of in the middle, right? So you wanna do the head super lightly, holding your pencil. And then that would be your head, but you don't want to do a whole circle. You just want to leave it till here. So there should be nothing over here that completes the circle. And then I'll just do another circle here. So from right here, maybe a little bit more below, maybe like measuring from your pinky finger, let's say. We do like another bigger circle. And then we get that down there, but we don't complete this. And I could just erase a few marks. Right. Is this enough? I think I made a big, a big one. Let me see. Who is this? Sotika. Okay. Can you put your clipboard a little more closer? Oh no, that's perfect. You're good. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful, Ria. Nithya, I see yours too. Yours is very beautiful. Do you want to get a new show from beginning? Oh yes, yeah, sure. Daksha, I saw yours too. It was really good. Was this Rasha? Who asked for me to show from the beginning? What is the next thing after you do the head? Um, right after you do the head, you wanna do like that old body part of it, right? So again, a circle underneath it. Do you see that? Uh, come yeah. on, I'm doing it too big. Mm -hmm. And you can also open. measure it like from the head that you drew and I'm just gonna retrace mine here. I think I erased mine too much. Oh, did you hold it with a light pencil? Yes. This is my brother's drawing. Is it okay? Let me take it. I oh, think wow. I erased it. That looks wonderful. I do not know if mine is too small or too big. Um, it's a little bit big. Do you want to try doing it again? No, I'm Maybe. talking about my upper part. Um, I think it's fine. If you want to make it smaller, you can. Go. I want to make it a little bigger. All right. You can go ahead and do that. Right. I'll give us like a second and we can move on.
Um, can everybody put like a thumbs up for whoever has done two circles on their page like this? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I see Dakshas. I see Ritwix, Stages, Dirties. I see. Rishab, do you have a question? No, how can I write? My hand was actually and we still up. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay, I think I made my down part kind of like a square. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Do you mind fixing it? A little bit? Yeah, just make it a little bit more circular. Nushant, that looks beautiful. Look, I see yours. Wow. Satwak, yours is so pretty. I see yours, Nitya. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, is everybody ready to move on? Or do we need a second? I'm kind of not. Okay. Rhea, yours is wonderful. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. You guys I'm are doing so well. Okay. Next, now we need another circle, but this won't be actually a circle. This would be more like a square circle, right? So basically, now we do the same thing that we did here. Um, we use these two little things down here that we didn't fill in. And we sort of make it a little wider. And then we just take it from there, put it down, right? And here, let's just say you messed up. That's fine. You just erase it, bring it down. And then you sort of give it like a little shape. And at the end, it should- Oh, I made that too tiny. big. Where's my right? Okay. Right. So it should be something like this. Does anyone need any help doing that again? Okay, you guys let me know. Do we need a gap in the on the third one? No, wow. no gap. We fill it, we put it as like a whole circle. Do you see this here? No, we're putting it up. Like okay, that's better. All right. Is this good? Who is this? Nitya. Oh, let's see. That's good. Oh, looks wonderful, Nitya. Wow. That's mine. That's mine. Look good. Oh, yes. Ritika, that looks beautiful. Make it a little bit smaller, though, because we're also going to add wings, and you need a little bit more space for that. Okay. Do we need all the three circles a little smaller? Um, so the top one has to be like the smallest, like how you draw, draw a snowman, sort of like that. So the one underneath has to be the biggest, middle has to be like a little bit bigger, and then the smallest one should be on top. Okay, I, I yeah, I did mine too big. Too. Oh, okay. is, this, is this too good? Is this Rhea? Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks wonderful, Ria. Nishante, see yours. That looks wonderful. Ashi, can I? Wow, that looks beautiful, Ashi. Oh, wow, Adwiti. Oh, oh, wait. Adwiti. Sorry, I made a mistake. Huh? Sorry, I did a mistake by accident. Oh, you're good. Oh. Can we move on? Yes, let's move on. You guys are doing wonderful, by the way. Okay, now, and please do this with me. Please don't go to the next step. Um, now we're just going to draw like little eyes of the bee here. So this bee has quite large eyes. So you just want to do that. Half circles on each side. Leaving a good amount of space in the middle. So you can also like keep your pencil like this and there should be probably like about that much space. All right. 
Let me know when you guys want to move on. Is this good? Yes, you guys are doing wonderful. Wow. Is this enough space? Let me see. Uh, make sure like the eyes are like this. Sorry, let's just put Damon. Don't Sorry. bring it all the way down here. Make sure it's like ending right there, sort of in a way. So it does it shouldn't end all the way here? It should just like end somewhere in the middle or close to the end, but not too close. Are we ready to move on? Yes, I didn't know. You can move. All right, let's move on. I don't know about the you know where do I place the eyes? What is it? Where do I place the eyes? Um, here. Do you see this? How I drew it? Yeah, for some reason, when on the first one, is there supposed to be like a gap? Yes. And then you drew in the eyes by using that? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, my And then you make a word? Yeah. Like this? Can you see? Oh, yeah. Just like that. Just make sure it doesn't go all the way till there. Maybe it, like, stops in the middle, so it's, like, a little bit smaller. Dangerous. Okay, I'll give you like one second to fix that and let's move on. Let me know if any of you guys need help. I don't want to be Can we move on? Yes. Let's move on. Okay, now we are going to draw the antennas for the bee. So um, using the eye that we drew here, right here, I'm gonna sort of draw like a darker line, just to show that the antennas start there, right? And then what you wanna do is go like out and sort of just circle it in like that. Out, then draw like a little swirly. Like that. And let me know if you guys can see that too, okay? When I got to my meeting, be who was right here. All right. I have a question for you guys. What is your guys' favorite animal? Birds. No, I'm not. not. Tiger. I'm a dog. Mine's a tiger. 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 Lion. Tiger. Lion. 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 That was Nia. I like parrots. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Daksha said she likes dogs. I, I love rabbits. Mm -hmm. That's nice. They just said he likes I dogs. Know. I'm a lion. <laughs> Rithik also said he likes tigers. Lion, lion. Lion. That's lion. wonderful, you guys. So many different animals here. Yeah. Rithik, please mute yourself because it's disturbed to whole class beta. All right, are we ready to move on, everybody? Here. Madam, madam. <laughs> Yes. Can I go and clean my fold? But I was I walked the door and I accidentally 
happened when I when I went to the bathroom. Uh, mm. I forgot to, to walk, walk it, but mm. then Pihu opened it and came here. And oh. then when she was, she was eating something, she spilled something. See oh, my sister. Oh, she's so cute. What's her name? Thanks. Can I go and take a paper napkin? Something for on the floor. Yes, yes, yes. You can go. Ritik, do you have something else to say? Yeah. Okay. The name of the country to hear. All right. Um, we can start mapping out the legs for the B. Do you guys see this? Okay. So from right here, we're going to start. And let's just draw a little line, okay? A very slight line. Make it a little uh, uh, the name of the country to hear. And sort of bend it. The United States of America, yeah. commonly referred to as the United States. Someone's unmuted. Can you please mute yourself? Washington, D.C. Thank you. Ryan, please mute. Can you repeat the steps again? Yes, sure. So we're just mapping out where the legs of the bee go. So basically what you wanna do is make like a nice fine line first, right? Make it a little bit long and then make another line like this, right? And then now what you wanna do is sort of trace off of that and then sort of like curve it. So it comes down and it looks like the bee's leg. And then you're gonna do that on the other side as well. So I'm gonna find a spot and go from there. And draw that. Okay. Just make that a little bit bigger. So basically, we're sort of like sketching it out very really lightly. And then this B has four legs down here. So I'm gonna find a good spot. And so what I did here was went like that and then I went down for the legs down there. And same thing here, just smaller. And I'm trying my best to level these. So there. Can you wait? Yes, sure. Let me know when you guys are done. I'm done. All right. Is this good? Let me see. Oh, wonderful, Daksha. Looks wonderful. That looks wonderful, too. Uh, can I cut my meeting very quick? Pihu is Pihu's. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Ryan. No worries. Oh, Nithya, that looks beautiful. Sato, can you bring that a little bit closer? I can't see. It's like blurred out. Just a little bit more closer. Nervi, that looks wonderful. Satwik, I love yours too. Can you make the legs a little bit bigger, Satwik? Like one of the legs, the top one? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Adwaita, I love yours. Very interesting. I would love if you guys are following along with me. Thank you. Shriya, and yours is wonderful too. Can I see yours again? 
Can I cut my meat and be quick? Fuse keep the stove being me. Yes. Like, no worries. Can I see? That looks bee? wonderful. Yes. Can Let I the... see the bee? Oh yeah, sure. There you go. Let me know when you guys are ready to move on. You guys are doing so good. Ready to move on. I'm ready. All right. Nithya, are you ready? Everyone done? Is this how you do it? Let me see. Wonderful, Ria. If you want, you can make the top legs a little bit bigger. Um, um, this is Mitchell speaking. Yeah. Um, I, I damaged my Oh, that looks wonderful. Okay, seems yeah. like we're done. We're done. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on, everybody. Okay, now the really important part is the wings, right? So. For the wings, you want to hold your pencil sort of like lightly back here, right? Because the wings are super wide, they're big, and you want to make sure that we give enough space to the wings, right? So now on your paper, what you want to do is, can you guys please unmute for me? I mean, mute yourselves for me. Thank you. Okay, so right underneath the um leg that we have over here right so i don't need it like right here let's say we're gonna draw a little line yes <laughs> let's start with the little line so both sides just make sure you draw like a little tiny line make it a little big make sure it's there right then i want to make a little tiny line and un underneath that so we have four tiny lines right does everybody have four tiny lines? All right, I see Duxious thumbs up. I'm not ready. All right, we'll wait. So make sure you map out like four little tiny lines and make sure that they sort of like level to each other in a way, right? So when you put your pencil, they sort of have like a good distance between them and they all match up, right? So you can use that little pencil trick to help you too. Is everyone ready to move on? Yeah. All right, we're moving on now. Okay, so for this little tiny line that you drew here, right? We're gonna hold your pencil back here again, right? And then um, using this little tiny line, you wanna extend it out. And we're doing this with a very free hand. So don't go tightly on this, right? So with the very free hand, just go as far as you want to, and then come back. And that would be the first wing. Now come back, when you're coming back, make sure it ends somewhere around in the middle of the other. So you have one tiny line here, and one tiny line here. So it should be somewhere in the middle or close to the middle, let's say. But your second tiny line should yeah. still be there. Can you show me that again? Mm -hmm. So let's start from the tiny line on the top. So you take a free hand, super free hand, right? With this, using this tiny line, you wanna go over here, stop, and then come around and then sort of end it over here in the middle. And you have to make sure you have your other tiny line waiting for you here. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm gonna show this again. Um, so using this little tiny line with the very free hand, just go around as far as you can and then Come back. Right in the middle. Okay. 
Is everyone done drawing their Mother, first Can one? you repeat the steps again? Yes, no problem. Mata, can you the skirt? Let me see. That's wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let me just repeat this step one last time, okay? Everybody, please pay attention if you didn't get it yet. So using this little tiny line that we have here made on the top, I'm gonna go with the very free hand up and then stop wherever and then come back around. And you should stop right here in the middle somewhere, right? So then again, using the tiny line, you go as far as you want to, and then you're coming back around and ending it right there. Just move this a little bit. Just fix these to so their level. And that would be your first wing. Are we ready to move on? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, with the tiny line that we have underneath, same exact thing. But remember, we want to go from underneath because this is right over here, right? So then using this little tiny line that we have here, I'm going to go around like this and just stop right there. Just a nice little pause right there. And if you want, you can make it a little bit more circular like I am here. Mataji, is it like? Let's see. Um, um, Mataji, I, I don't you love yours. Yes. Uh, this is Viti just speaking, so I done, I, I done him tracing with the pencil. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. Look, I made it like this. Oh, wow. That looks this wonderful. Good, Mataji. Who is this? Gita. Gita? Oh, that looks wonderful, Gita. Wow. Does this Gita, look can, good? You, can you move yours a little bit closer? I can't see it. A little bit more closer. Sorry. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Sathri, I still can't see yours. It's a little blurry on your screen. Do you mind moving it a little bit more closer for me? You're all done. Yeah, too. Wow. Sato, that looks wonderful. You guys are doing so good. All right. So it looks like we're ready to move on. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. Now, same thing here. Um, using the little tiny line, just go. And Mine's just gonna stop there. But if that happens for yours, you can erase it. And what I'm just gonna do is just do that and end it here. Right? So now what can... are we doing? Um, same thing on the other side that we did here. Same thing here. Okay. Yeah. Daksha, wow. That looks Do we have pins in the middle of the our wings? Um, I'll tell you. Because I do not know. Because my both of my wings are stuck. Like that. Okay. Does this look good? Um, this look good? Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. And I, um, our four wings look have and that looks wonderful too. So I'll put place oh, can you can good? Oh, can we please go one at a time, guys? Is this good? Yes, that looks wonderful, Nitya. Nishant, they see yours. Wow, Nishant's really pretty. Does she have a question? Yeah, is this good? Can you unmute for me, Ashi? Can't hear you. Oh no, I still can't hear anything. 
Do you mind typing it in the chat for me? Yotra, wow, that looks wonderful. Mark touch is this good? Yes, that looks wonderful, Gita. Yeah. Okay, let me check the chat really quick. And then we can move on if you need to. Okay, I'll keep looking at it as she. Okay, we can move on, guys. Let's move on. Can you please make sure you mute yourselves? Um, do we have space between um our wings? No, it should look something like this. If you want, you can leave space, but I suggest not to. Okay. Just to show that there are two different wings, just like this. No. Okay. Now, instead of our wings, we are going to have a few details. So just make a few quick lines inside of them. Right? Okay. And this line over here that separates the two wings, I'm going to sort of make that darker. Just so I know for my own reference. I'm making it darker also, like sort of helps. Right? Okay. So now same thing here. Just going to do a few lines. And inside the lines, if you guys want, you could do more details. So I'm going to do line by line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil and just sort of create these little things. You can play around with how it goes. Make it bigger or smaller. Just basically like tiny little lines inside. Do we have to put the lines? Um, you can if you want to. You can also leave it like plain or simple. We're gonna color it in anyway. Because I do not want to put the lines. Mine are small. Yeah, that's okay. And it and it doesn't look good. Okay. Yeah. That's Wait, fine. if you don't want to do the design, can you just start coloring it? Um, yes, we will get to the coloring part really quick. Um, uh, uh, if you guys want, you can do the lines later also. Okay. Wonderful, Daksha. That looks beautiful. Okay. And I want to show you how I put my pants. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I want to show how I put my pencils. Yeah. I put my color pencil in my pencil box, and I put my pencil and my sharpener and my eraser in one spot. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Now, if you guys want to do the lines right now, you can. You don't have to. I'm going to stop here with the lines because I feel like it's just, the, it's just going to take a lot of time. And... You can also do it at the end after you color. So if everybody's ready with their colored pencils, we can start coloring. Can I get it like a thumbs up from everybody? Okay. Um, Miss? Yes? Um, can I, can I use crayons? Because I have crayons. Oh yeah, sure. You can use crayons. Go ahead. Okay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Guys, make sure you mute yourselves. <laughs> All right. Um. Now for coloring, right? What I I am doing is I'm going to take one blue color, right? Because I have three different ones. I want to use all of them. I can just use one, right? Do you, do you have to have light blue? 
Um, yes, you can have light blue or I am used. Yeah, I'm you using light blue. Too. If you don't have light blue, light blue you can use any other blue. You have. No heart to be like in the Yes, please go one by one. In the heart. One by one, please. Okay. I don't have light blue. Oh, you can use another blue that she has. Yeah, I Guys, please mute yourself. I can't hear anybody. I have dark blue. Oh, yeah, you can use that, too. I'll show you how to use it. You can keep my color. Go to the bathroom. And will you, I'm going to use the light blue the same way. So just follow um, with your dark blue that you have. Okay? I go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, sure. We're going to start coloring, okay? Okay, guys. So with your colored pencil, preferably light blue. If you don't have light blue, don't worry. You can always use any other type of blue that you have, but make sure it's blue. Um, and then what we're gonna do is here, if we look back into our picture, what we have here, see that there's a lot of like darkness for the light blue here and most of it is super light here. Right? So let's do that with any other blue that you're using. So I'm taking your blue, just sort of in the middle, make it kind of like dark. So hold your pencil sort of like this and let's sort of like squeeze it. Like basically like you're squeezing it, right? With your little two fingers. And what do you do with the dark blue? Um, You can do the same thing with dark blue. Just follow along with yours, okay? So just like hard press on it a little bit. And don't go all the way, just stay in like a small area, a very small area, right? That's showing how much depth would be in your um, wing that we have here, right? Okay, and now uh, what I'm doing is I have it super light light blue, so I could use both. Oh yeah, sure. But can you please pick one? Is I'm that okay? Pick dark blue. <laughs> All right. Okay. And now what you want to do is very lightly. So I'm going to hold it even more back. Ah! Up here, right? So I'm going to stop and hold it here. It's going to be super light. Can you guys please mute yourselves? Thank you. Please mute yourselves, everybody. All right. I still hear somebody speaking. Make sure you guys are muted. Thank you. Okay, now taking your pencil super lightly, okay? Color the whole um, wing on the top. And you can do the same for the bottom. Does it color mine like this? Is it okay? Yes, give me one moment. One sec. Who is this? Gita. Gita? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You can follow along with me, okay? Just make sure. Okay, you just. I colored the top part dark and the down part light. Is that okay? Yeah. And also, one more thing you could do, Gita, is take your light blue color, right? And just in the middle, blend it. So blending it would be super easy, right? So just in the middle, sort of like go ahead and sort of uh, go over the dark blue and just color it. So it sort of blends that too, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. And now in the parts that I want even, I'm just going to go darker. Um, Miss? You can see here. Yes? Who is this? Uh, um, this is Mithita speaking. I, uh -huh. I, I'm almost done. I have to just, I need to color on another thing. Okay. That's wonderful. Another one. I can't do the, like, uh, up and down like that. I, I don't know how to do it. Be I don't, I never done it before. For coloring? Not. Um, I mean, yes, but 
you have a little bit of uh, thing of your up and down. Oh yeah, you want me to show that again for you? Um, you have. Let me let me show in my crayon. I mean, my, right. my mark in my whiteboard. Yeah. I'll give you a second. So basically, what I'm doing. Mama, you is, like this? You, I don't know how to do it like that. Are you using markers? No, I only using papers, but it, but I don't know how to do to do like this up and down. Only I, but I can make the wings. But I can look. Uh, I can like I can make the wings like this, but not at like yours. Oh no, that looks wonderful. You don't need to worry. Yours looks okay. really good. Okay. You're doing good. Don't worry. Okay. And also one other thing you can do just for like Ria. 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 Uh, I don't see you. Where are you? I see Rona here. I don't see Rona. Oh, yeah, that's Rona. It's Rona. Oh, okay. oh that looks wonderful, Rona. Nice. Okay. So one other thing you can do is also like little circles, but not show the circles. It's just adding more pigment to some sides, right? Is this good? Wonderful, Daksha. That looks really nice. You guys are doing wonderful, guys. Is this good, Marta G? Yes, that looks wonderful. Okay, now you want to do the same thing on the other side. What is it? What do you do when you're done coming both wings? Um, let's just make sure everybody's done. Is everybody done? Yeah, I'm done. Gita said done. she's done. Let's give Gita one second. Okay, for those of you who are done, let's move on and see what we can do. Uh, I'm done. Do you guys mind color, start to color your... Um, legs, or do you, yeah. Let's color the legs. Okay, so I'm gonna take a black here, right? And what I'm gonna do, is, it's, this is super easy. Um, what I'm color is that? Blue. I didn't realize. What color is that? Um, I'm gonna be using a black. I actually oh, okay. use a blue, yeah. Black. Yes. So we got. I miss. I did. Yeah, and this is gonna be super easy. So just sort of like draw these like little leaves, like thin leaves, and just go down your leg that way, right? And then you could just color them in once you're done with the same black. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing down here. These little leaves. Right, and just fill them in. Okay. I did not find a black. You don't, do you have a gray? I have a gray pencil. Okay, not you can color use that one. too. Yeah, you can use that too. Okay. No, pencil started to look with the bad Mm-hmm. You guys want to know a nice story? Yeah. 
Sure. Have a small story time. Okay. So a few summers ago when we were all quarantined, uh, right? Um, what do you do next when you're done covering the wedge? Um, did you do all, all of them on both sides? I did all of the wedge. Okay. Did you finish coloring your wedge as well? Sean, no. Badge you yourselves, guys. Badge of Sean. He's good, he's good. Good to God, thank you, unmuted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, no problem. Uh, who is speaking again? Are you done with the wings as well? Okay. Okay, let's take our yellow. And for those who are done, and you guys can start coloring. Or actually, since we still have the black in our hands, let's color the head, right? We can also trace these. So I'm just going to trace the little antenna things on top. Using my black, make it darker. OK, I was going to tell you guys a little story, right? So. Um, I was in this class and we got asked a question that like if you were to be like an animal what type of animal would you be and I had to give a little thought about it right and I remembered that obviously during that summer since I had a lot of time in my hand um, I would do reading with my friends and we would read this book called Krishna book right and it had all the wonderful pastimes of Krishna. And it was beautiful, right? So I remembered a specific pastime from there. And it, it was about uh, like bees, honeybees specifically, right? And what these honeybees used to do was um, when Krishna would play outside with all of his um, friends, they would like be in the forest, right? So... One time what happened was um, they were playing hide and seek and all of these bees, because Krishna is all attractive, they were attracted to Krishna. And then um, they all started like, so Krishna was playing hide and seek with his friends and he was hiding in this one place. But then since all of these bees were attracted to him and they came and they started surrounding Krishna and they started going all over his face and almost like kissing his face. and the description and they were so wonderful, right? And um, then his friends find out that since all of these bees are in this one place, Krishna must be there. So they end up finding him and Krishna gets super mad about these bees doing this. But what we can learn from these bees is they're always so eager to like go to Krishna and um, basically like be near him and always learn about him. So we can also do the same, right? This is like a little pastime for Krishna book about the bees. Did you guys like the little mini story? Yes. Yes. Is this good? Yes. Let me see. Wow, that looks wonderful, Gita. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Satuk, that looks so nice. I can see yours now. Yay. That looks wonderful. Good job, Satuk. I love yours. Adwaita, wow. That looks like a very much of a queen bee, right? What do you do when you're done with the face? Um, we can move on. Daksha, that looks wonderful too. Let's move on, everybody. Okay. What what movie? Um, we're going to color the body of the bee now. Okay. So taking your yellow color, just color in these two circles here. So this one and this one should be all yellow. Let me make sure. Are we gonna color all the circles yellow? 
Uh, yes. Speaking, you are already there and with my uh, honey. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's wait on everybody else, okay? Okay, I will. I will try. I will wait. Okay. How is how are you, uh, you guys doing in the summer? Is your summer going good? Yeah. 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 Do we have anybody who's missing school? No, I'm not missing school. <laughs> I don't I am. miss school. I'm not missing school. Well, I'm all done. done. It's <laughs> wonderful. I said I'm done. done. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, that looks wonderful, everybody. Wow, Russia by Sears. I'm not done. Okay. 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 The, 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 the bottom circle looks oh, like a chest. Yeah. My bottom circle looks like a chest. For, <laughs> for those who are done doing the bottom, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to this, this one. Really cool. What do you do when you're done? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what's the, the what's that entire B? Yes. One, give me one moment, please. Okay. I don't think you'll stay until 7 2. That's another point. Maybe it's still 5.30, I don't know. Okay. So for those of you guys who are ready to move on, uh, what we're going to do is let's trace these again. Right? Little circles with are black. And now what you want to do is, you know how Honeybee has like that little... Um, black yeah, and yellow pattern. That's what you want to do on the bottom one only, though. So you just want to do that and also make it darker. So as dark as you can on there, just press a little bit and it should come. And same thing here. Look up and down, up and down. Right, okay, and then last one should be down here. And then you can like make little tiny marks. I'm just gonna color this in a bit. So super lightly do this. Right. So I'm going to very lightly color the whole thing too with black, but I'm going to make sure it looks mostly yellow. Okay. So just shade that black in as well. And there's little lines everywhere. I need black hairs basically. Right. And then a little bit of um, black here. I mean, that's my. And then I'm just going to do a few lines. Is this good enough, Ashley? Mm -hmm. Let me see. One more. Wow, wonderful, Daksha. Looks wonderful. Michelle, that looks beautiful. What a beautiful bee. Is this good enough? Did we also have lines on, like, the middle? 
Um, I think he's taller than my little one. No, uh, can you ask that again, no, Rishab? Are we supposed to also align on the um the middle circle? Uh, yes. Uh, wait, I'll tell you about that. Uh, Give me one moment. Daksha, do you have a question? Is this the last? Uh, yes. Yeah. The so could we cut the bum? Could we cut the honeybee? Yes, if you want like to, you can. Side, so we can you can. Yes, sure, go ahead. If you want to, you can. Gita, that looks wonderful. You guys are doing so well. Okay, we're almost done here. So let's finish up really quick, okay? No, um, same thing. With your black, what you want to do is go up and down like this. on top, right? And then what I'm gonna do is shade the sides with black. And let's try to follow what this has here. And now just go around. And here. And let's shade it with black a little bit. And then again, you can draw little hairs everywhere. Okay, and then right here, I'm gonna make a little bit more darker. A little bit more. Shed it a little bit more, right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take a orange. I don't know why crazy art always makes weird names for theirs, but um, let me see. Okay, this is more like an orange, so I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna color that in just on the sides like this, right? Well, and then take my yellow again and just blend some of the black in. Bring that down as well. More like a orange. I just do that. And okay, I see that my black over here is a little bit scratchy, so I think I'll fill it in. Let's see. Mata, you should be cut. Do when you're done with the middle circle, and you're done coloring the entire middle circle. Um, can I see your guys' drawings? I think we would be done right after that with their drawing. This is mine. Okay, let me see. One moment, please. This is weird. Hatachi? Wow, Nithya, it looks beautiful. Satik, I love yours too. Um, who was calling me? This is Rishab. This is mine. Wow, that's wonderful, Rishab. Can you show the. Could you show the B? Yes, please, Rithik. Wow, Nishant, that looks beautiful. Gita, I love it too. Good. Yes. Wonderful. What should we do with this? The eyes? Oh, we can leave the eyes like that. 
If you guys want, you can do details on the eyes, but you don't have to. Are we going to do ba background? Yes, you guys can do background too. Do you want me to go over it or do you guys want to pick your own background? Um, go around it. Go yeah. around. All right. What do you do when I'm you're done? A different background. With a B. Yes. Who's this? Risha, what do you do when you're done with the B? Um, you can color the background for your B. What color do you color the background in? Any color? Yeah, any color you want. Or I'm also going over it, so we can also do that. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm using this. It says berry on here. It's probably like a pinkish type of color. But what I'm going to do is this color near this over here. I'm just using a very free hand. You can see that. It's good, Mataji. I'm going to go over this. Yes? Mataji? Yes? Um, so I'm done with mine, so can I leave? Um, yeah, did you color your background already? Uh, I, like, I'm going to, like, um, I said before that, like, I'm going to cut my beans. Last. Oh, yeah, sure, you could do that. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye, thank you. Uh, make sure you guys upload yours, um, if you want, on WhatsApp, so I can see all okay. of them. Okay. All right. Bye, thank you. Okay, we can end this in about like a Mom, minute or so. Color until the wings one color and down the wings another color. Oh yes, sure, sure, you could do that. Thank you. So just bye, Mataji. Oh. See you next week. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank Have you. a nice weekend. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Let's end it here, guys. Thank you. Hey, Krishna. Bye. Bye, Krishna. Bye, bye, everyone. Thank you for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you post your drawings in the group chat for me so I can see them. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Krishna. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Nitya. Bye, Haribo. Hare Krishna, Bhattaji, I done. Hare Krishna, bye. Bye. Haribo. Bye. Bye, Bhattaji. Bye, Tejas, bye. Class locals are not allowed to eat. They are not allowed to eat. They are not allowed to eat. Yes, I am going to eat. Hare Krishna, Bhattaji. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm done with the background. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji.